Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Joe. Come and be his guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Here's our lady MD. She's as pretty as can be at the junction. Petticoat Junction. <laughs> Adorable. She got a lot of me in her. <laughs> oh, you know, it's hard to believe that she'll be having her first birthday party tomorrow. Now, take it easy, darling. You've had a hard day. Which darling are you speaking to? <laughs> Good question. I think she can wear him out. <laughs> Any word from Billy Joe? Not yet. I hope she can make it tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. She'll be here. Well, why shouldn't she? Well, Uncle Joe, she does have her career to think of. What's a career compared to my grandniece's first birthday? <laughs> And he liked you. They want to hold you over. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Oh, but not tomorrow, of course. What do you mean, not tomorrow? Of course, tomorrow. Huh. What do you think hold over means? Oh, but I've got to be back home in Hooterville tomorrow night. It's a very special birthday. You're going to be 21? <laughs> not again. What is it? My niece. She's going to be one. One what? <laughs> one year old. Oh, boy. Down through the ages, it's been the show must go on. Ruby Keeler, she went on no matter what. Al Jolson went on no matter what. Dick Powell went on no matter what. And then there was Alvin Moody. Well, I never heard of him. <laughs> you see? He didn't go on. <laughs> You're committed. I signed a deal. But you had no right to. Well, this is Kathy Joe's first birthday. All right. You do what you want. But think this over carefully. All you've got to lose is your career. Me? I can always turn to drink. <laughs> oh, hi, Betty Jo. Is Steve around? He's up in bed. In bed? Sick? Oh, no, he's just taking the day off to celebrate Kathy Jo's first birthday. Oh. You are coming to the party, aren't you? Oh, you betcha. I wouldn't miss that if my life depended on it. Well, would you tell Steve I got a message for him? Oh, sure. I'm just taking breakfast up to him and Kathy Joe. Well, it's mighty appetizing. Hope Steve enjoys the bone. <laughs> you should see them all in bed. They make quite a trio. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, uh, is, is Doc Craig around? Oh, no, she had a lot of calls to make. In fact, she's been so busy, Bobby Joe's been giving her a hand. Yeah, yeah, she's been going full steam lately. Well, I got an urgent message for her, too. Uh, I'll just leave it in the box. Huh. Sam? Oh, hi, Steve. Say, I hate to spoil your day off, but I just got a call from the Iverson Ranch over in King County. Uh, that's the job I just finished. What's their problem? Something about an infestation in their corn acreage. Huh. Can't understand that. Well, old man Iverson seemed pretty upset. Wanted you to get over there right away. Uh, thanks, Sam. I'll head over there right after breakfast. Steve, why don't you let me take care of it? Joe, you don't even know how to fly a plane. 
I'm going to take care of your breakfast. <laughs> There's one of the great pinch hitters of all time when it comes to stepping up to the plate and taking over another man's meal. A grand slam every time. Why don't you go back to your store and water down the milk? <laughs> Doctor's assistant. Hello, Hello, Mr. Jackman. Sam. I left a message for you in your box at the desk. Charlie Hanks called, said Mary thinks this could be the day. Oh. He just wanted to make sure you were on tap. You know Mary when she has young and she has them fast. Well, you tell him not to worry. I've already arranged with Wendell to give me a signal on the cannonball whenever we're needed. Oh, good. I'll see you at the party tonight. Bye. <laughs> How do you like being a doctor's assistant? It's the most satisfying work I've ever done. Oh? It gives you such a wonderful feeling when you know you're helping humanity. Alleviating suffering. Making the world a better place for mankind. Well, we're out for a big day on the town. Oh. Well, what's all this? Oh, it's a special treat for her birthday. Uncle Joe's taking Kathy Joe into Pixley. And she gets to pick out her own present. Anything she wants, she gets. Anything. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, Uncle Joe. He'll just die if she doesn't pick out an electric train. <laughs> oh, I'd settle for a wind-up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have fun. And don't forget to be back in plenty of time for the... P-A-R-T-Y. <laughs> Bobby Joe, you don't have to spell out the words. I caught on to what you were talking about all the time. <laughs> well, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. There goes quite a pair. Now first, I'm going to show you the sights of the town. Hey, Joe, how about some ice cream before we start on our journey? Good, you're my kind of niece. Boy, yes, sir. Couple ice cream bar. We have chocolate and vanilla, sir. Give me chocolate. Come on, sir. Two. Bobby Joe! Bobby Joe! That's the signal. Mary Hanks needs us. Us? Well, aren't you my new assistant? Well, yes, but what if we're not back in time for the party? Well, what if we're not? Well, gee, what happened to serving humanity? Well, isn't it humane to let a person off on her niece's birthday? Mm. Come on. Oh, I'm coming. Kathy Joe, how'd you like a nice new fish pole for your birthday? A oh, real new tackle box. Okay, I don't blame you. It's just that I'm surrounded by women out there at the Shady Rest. And I was sort of hoping I'd get me a fishing buddy. But you can't help it. We'll get on down to the toy store. Remember, I'm keeping my promise. You can pick out anything you want. Anything. <laughs> oh, now you wake up. <laughs> just like a woman. <laughs> the monkey, Kathy Joe. Isn't he a cute little fella? Wave bye-bye. Wave bye-bye. All right, now we'll go get Kathy Joe's birthday present. Don't cry. Uncle Joe's taking you to the toy store. Oh, you want to see the monkey again? Okay. Hello, little fella. This is Kathy Joe. <laughs> well, on to the toy store. Kathy, don't cry. We're going to get you a doll. Or maybe a panda bear. Or a wagon. Or... Oh, no. Don't tell me you want the monkey. <laughs> well, I asked for it. I told you I'd get you whatever you wanted. <laughs> Father of a fine baby girl. <laughs> 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 
thank you. Bobby Joe, come on, we're not done yet. You mean she's going to have another one? Oh, my gosh. Oh, you wait here. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get some. In fact, we may be the only ones at the party, the way things are going. Oh, that's okay with you, huh? That way you'll get more. You sound more like Uncle Joe every day. That's Steve. I'm afraid your mother would object. monkey to cover up for you while you do your dirty work. Am I didn't have any... Really, the schemes they come up with these days. Look, lady, Don't I... Don't you touch me! Help, police! Steve! I've been robbed! Help, showed up. Now, where is everybody? I thought today was supposed to be the big day. It is. Everywhere but here. Huh? Come on inside and I'll explain over a cup of coffee. How did the engagement go? Oh, it was great. They're holding you over for another week. Well, sounds like you were a smash. Well, I thought I was going to have trouble taking time off to get back home. But I got lucky. The owner of the club has a one-year-old niece, too. <laughs> well, that was a break. Say, did you happen to go by Drucker's? I thought sure he'd be here by now. Oh, poor Sam. He was all ready to leave when a case came up in his Justice of the Peace Court. 
All right, Albert, you're charged with intoxication in the limits of the township of Hooterville. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Well, thank goodness for that. I haven't got time to fool around with a long trial. Five days or five dollars? I'll take a five days. I'll write up the receipt. You'll what? I'll take the five days. I ain't got five dollars. Doggone it, Albert. You're the Pixley Town drunk. Why'd you have to come over here to do your thing? Well, I won't do it anymore. Booze is high in Hooterville. <laughs> well, have you got any money? No. Oh. I can't keep you in custody here. I have a party to go to. Now what am I going to do? You can take me with you. <laughs> I like parties. <laughs> Well, Mr. Hanks, I hope that you and your wife have a lifetime of pleasure with Cynthia, Diane, Charlie, and Richard. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Thank you. It's been fun. I mean, call us any time. I mean, goodbye. <laughs> institute the honor system. I'll go to the party and have you on the honor system not to escape. Yeah. Oh, no. What's the matter? I ain't trustworthy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello? Joe, where are you? Sam, they only let me make one call. I made it to you. I'm in the Pixley Jail. The Pixley Jail? Oh, you go on, you're kidding. It ain't a laughing matter. The bum rap. The chimp did it. <laughs> oh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. You gotta get me out of here. Look, Joe, I got my own troubles and... Hey, hey, wait just a second. I'll put the sheriff on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Yes, Drucker. <laughs> you darn right he's here. You got who? Oh, uh, that drunk. <laughs> now, what's that got to do with... You want a what? That's right. Have an exchange of prisoners. <laughs> oh, doggone it. Countries do it. You any better in a country? It's all yours. Thanks, Sheriff. Come on, Joe. Wait a minute. Are you kidding? Trading me for the town drunk? I'm in solid. <laughs> okay, I'll just take Kathy Joe and the monkey. You can stay here if you want. Oh, no. I said I was in solid, not stupid. <laughs> Come on, then. It's nice to be home. <laughs> She's a beauty. Just look at her hair, look at her curls, look at those teeth that just like pearls. Ooh, look at her, ain't she pretty? She looks like a beautiful wax doll. And you are bound to fall. Well, I like your dress, I love your nose. Look at that smile, get a load of that pose. Ooh, look at that, ain't she pretty? Oh, yeah. Steve, sing another song. Oh. Oh, come on, Kathy, Joe, quick before they change their mind. <laughs> I've never done this with a real live girl Straight off the farm with an actual arm Full of real live girl Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze Fogs up my goggles and buckles my knees I'm simply drowned in the sight and the sound and the scent and the feel of a real live girl Nothing 
can beat being swept off your feet by a real live girl. <laughs> Dreams in your bunk don't compare with the hunk of a real live girl. Speaking of miracles, this must be it. <laughs> Just when I've started to learn how to knit. I'm all in stitches from finding what riches a waltz can reveal with a real Everybody, let's help Kathy Joe make a wish. Okay, you ready? Yes, we Come on, Kathy, Kathy Joe. Joe. Blow it out. Blow it out. Anniversary TV Land. Happy fifth anniversary TV Land, and thanks for the bread on my table.